Secretary Rumsfeld, on the predator issue, my question again. In late November, when people were asking you um, about the relationship between CIA operations and CENTCOM, and then it was it was more about ground operations, but you said very specifically that General Franks was the man at the steering wheel, coordinating or in control of all military operations. Now, with the predator strikes, you're talking more about an exchange of information, coordination. So I was wondering if simply you could clarify the situation of how CIA military operations are coordinated or in control yeah. by CENTCOM. And that's a good question, and it's hard to answer. The overwhelming bulk of all activity in Afghanistan since the first U.S. forces went in have been basically under the control of the Central Command. Uh, and that's particularly true after the first month. Um, the one exception has been the armed uh, predators. Uh, I shouldn't say the one exception, a an exception has been the armed predators, which are CIA-operated. Why, Why is that an exception? It is uh, just a fact. Uh, it, it, they were operating them before the United States military was involved, and uh, the armed predators, and doing a good job. And uh, so rather than changing that, we just left it. Why not plug them into the command and control of CENTCOM? You have three operators at a predator. Mm -hmm. Um, it's it's a um, just a historical fact that they were operating these things over the recent years, and uh, they were in Afghanistan prior to the involvement of CENTCOM, and they continued during this period. It's just uh, the way it is. Yes. Could I get the two of you maybe to pre-associate a little bit more on that subject? Um, we're seeing a uh, to do what? Pre-associate. <laughs> <laughs> sort of oh, yeah. touchy-feely seventies term. <laughs> I don't know. Loud, you, got the, you got the wrong guys. <laughs> I don't think I can do that with general, you. It's illegal, eh? <laughs> the general subject matter is there is this growing sort of military role for the CIA. And we have you guys up here every day and can ask questions. Um, but the CIA is obviously operates in a, in a lot more shadowy way. Um, people are thinking back and remembering some of the excesses <clears throat> of that agency um, in Latin America 20, 30 years ago. And I think there's, there there's, tends to be a growing sense of, Mm, what are we getting into here? Mm -hmm. Could you all talk um, more philosophically about um, the dealings between the Pentagon and the CIA and, and and what the parameters are that you're developing or thinking about for how to manage this new world where the CIA now has its own real military capabilities that are not necessarily under the control of the U.S. military, which has uh, transparency with the American public? I can give you a couple of paragraphs on the subject. Oh, right. That would with, be the free association part of this. Is that right? <laughs> Um, the, um, the relationship between the Defense Department and the CIA today is as good as I've ever seen it. That is to say, in the relationships and the interaction and the connectivity. Um, we have people involved with things they're doing and in, for example, in counterterrorism or in, in intelligence cells where we're trying to bring all kinds of intelligence information into one place. Uh, they have people involved in, in things that we're doing in a sense of, of connecting their capabilities and their assets to what we do. Um, the concern you're uh, expressing from a decade or two or three ago, I think, is not apt. Uh, simply because people are sensitive to those things and, and there's all kinds of uh, congressional consultation, there's all kinds of uh, procedures within the executive branch so that uh, uh, things that the agency is, is planning to do are well vetted in the appropriate ways before they do them. Um, the, the, I think the general relationship on the ground tends to be that if we're not there, uh, the CIA obviously has the reporting relationship straight up through the CIA and we're not involved. Uh, to the extent they're there and we then get involved, uh, it, 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 there's an early period where they're both there and, and they're doing somewhat different things, needless to say. And then at a certain point, the defense element is large enough that it becomes, things tend to chop over to it. And, and uh, the chain of command goes up through the combatant commander, uh, except for obviously things that, that don't fit within our, our um, statutory responsibilities.